Hello, Capricorn. It is time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year, which is 2019. Oh! How y'all doing today? Readings for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Lack of communication or lack of reaching out. One of those things, right? Could be done with an Aquarius, of course. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorns. Because June already feels like it's that time where, like, it, it, it like, I can't get out of my head, but it's like, it is time for, like, you know, something awesome to get started. It's like, hmm, let's see about this. If someone was too hard headed to apologize and they're heartbroken because of it, or if someone didn't receive the new love that they deserve because someone was being like really um inconsiderate and bitchy and heartbreak afterwards once they realize what they've lost, I guess. Oh, well. Oh well. At least that's what I say. I have no idea what this is about, but this is probably well, I hope I don't show up in one. I hate when I show up in my readings, man. Like, it's, it's, it's like, super annoying, because it's just like, you know, that's my business. Stay out of it. You know? Boom. Let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. You are at a crossroads with the hangman. You might need to surrender something. What you want and wish for is not to take a leap of faith or not to do something that's... You don't want to try to start something new, possibly, with a server clown. You'd rather just stay at this crossroads. You're comfortable being in a universal time out, I feel like. You're just like, no, like, nobody bothers me here. I'm good. I don't need to make, I don't need to make a choice on where I want to go. I'm good. Nobody fucking talks to me. Why would I want to... <laughs> it's just like, you know what? No one's bothered me during this little time out, and I've enjoyed it. So maybe I'll just stay. Like, that's what you're wanting and wishing for. Um, the fear and rejection could be a Libra, but it's a head over heart decision and your heart's tugging more to the future than your head is. Um, the situation, lack of recovery or thinking things through with the Four of Swords, trying to, um, actually meditate and decide shit. Um, the obstacle and challenge coming against you is a wish fulfillment that you will get bored of. Or it won't be as satisfying as what you thought. Then the catalyst as well as the final result. The beginning of this shit as well as how it'll end is the Princess of Wands. With the beginning theme being somebody launched a victory wand up in the air and each wand hit all them and their friend's face. Every one of them. This is a victory that was not um won. Or a victory that failed. Or someone came out looking like an idiot. Uh. Dude, I got like water bottle ice cube trays. They have totally changed my life. For the better, I swear to God. Like, I cannot go without. <laughs> I can stick ice cubes in anything now. I'm like, ah. Uh. Hmm. Capricorn, I feel like that there is something that like was in the back of your mind that you probably wished for and now it's just kind of like, you know, I don't even care about it now. There's a fire, there's probably a fire sign here who might be young, Libra, or not Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, sneaky, probably has shit to say behind your back, just like, you know, not even trying to pay attention to anything, but it's like, whatever. But it's just kind of like you were having fun with it at first, and now it's just kind of like, you know what, this is kind of boring. But I don't know if this is you or not either, so. We got the hanged man up here. And, you know, there is some sort of dream at this crossroads that like, he was dreaming of, but, it, but it, it was a wish fulfillment that just, you know... Much like this one, it was frugal and um, didn't really amount to much of anything. And they sat there and waited, and it was just kind of like, how long do I have to wait? How long? So. How long do I have to wait? That was at one point, I think they were getting impatient, but now they're at this crossroads where they can make the choice. 
But I really feel like you don't want to like leave that time out either. It's just kind of like nobody bothers me here. I'm cool. But there are secrets possibly coming out either with a Cancer or a Pisces with the moon. And this woman just come out of a pool naked with like a, a bowl of soup and like a flashlight bug. I think. Or I'm or I don't or a mirror reflecting something. I don't know. Either way she's naked and she's holding weird stuff. Right. But she's coming out with secrets, I assume. She obviously knows something. Or else why is she coming out in the water with stuff, right? Um yeah, this one's coming out with illusions for this um, person at a crossroads where they've been trying to move possibly to a love proposal to try to resurrect something once again. But the person they wanted to resurrect things with just ran away like a little bitch. You know. I guess because of the secrets, but these secrets are now being revealed. Either by that person, the Cancer of Pisces, or by somebody else. Now, someone does not want to take the time to think about how someone was really, really rude and completely unfair and didn't care about being unfair with the Six of Pentacles reverse reverse. Sacred Clown reverse up in the wants and wishes. Someone does not want to take a leap of faith. At least not towards this Justice card. Anyway. Um, but they'll send their regards. <laughs> they'll just be like, I'm sorry that, um, this isn't working out for us. Like, they'll send it in a letter and then just do whatever it is they do. Like, they'll, they'll deliver a package with, like, a two weeks notice in it instead of, like, actually doing it, whatever. Like, they're just gonna leave the box and run away. Like, they don't want to take a leave of faith. They'd be like, ah, oh, here you go. You don't know who I am. You know? This wish fulfillment card, the obstacle and challenge coming against you. Someone made a wish, but they got bored of it. But it's almost like they wish they knew what happened to the people who were um, down here talking, right? Because it's two people sitting here talking, chatting. But now there's someone up in the roof. I guess they were looking for somebody. And it's almost like, it's almost like someone got what they wished for. And it's not that they regret it as much as it was just like, oh, well, this was just a waste of time. It's like this dude's looking for these people and they just disappeared and it's, there's a possibility they're not coming back. Or maybe that's what they believe and that's part of the wish. Justice card reverse could be Libra, head over heart decision. Leaning more towards a heart with a victory. Actually, I said this in Libra's reading too. Um, Libra had the six of swords or not swords, six of wands in theirs as well. And it's like the victory didn't work out in somebody's favor, whoever it was that was casting those wands out. So you could be dealing with a Libra who thinks that they're going to get a victory, but not so much. They kind of fell asleep on their horse and forgot to like deliver the message. Like totally not even on the, like, 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 like you went and like dropped off the package, like mail's here. Could you deliver this please? And, and this person was just like, <laughs> like you fell asleep on the job. You're just kind of like, ah, my heart's still to this place where I don't feel victorious. So I'm probably not going to deliver this like I should. Maybe that's why you don't want to take a leap of faith. You know, you got to drop this off and just let it go. But it's kind of like you can't take a leap of faith to drop off the letter to begin with. And now we got the Princess of Wands down here. Where someone might be traveling with sneakiness. Possibly not with the best intentions. Not the best person. Their the feet stink of evilness. Well, not even really evilness. I don't want to be, like, judgmental or anything. But, like, they're not the, um... They're not the kind of people your mom wants you to hang out with. Like, yeah, like, they, they might not be coming with the best intentions because they got their mind on their money. Um, not on their mind on, like, home investments or anything, but their mind on where they can take this if they go up the town hall with it. Looking for a financial um, business offer of sorts. Six of Wands reverse. This lack of victory. What's the ending theme with it? Okay, that's a bunch, so... 
There might have been a Queen of Cups who, like, walked away, containing her emotions. There was once a pairing, but now it's barren, and it had to end. Okay. And the lack of communication and patience is what it caused the mask to come off the tower. Well, or it would have caused the mask to come off the tower, but it's not like anyone's communicating here, I don't think, anyway. You know, like, it's supposed to zap and remove the mask or whatever. Because this is an old, decrepit building. You're only seeing the back of it, not the front. I'm like sleepy. I don't know why. I think I just need a nap. The person at home waiting for someone to come back who's not coming back. Knows that there's no victory in sticking around anymore. They're just going to keep clunking themselves in the head every time they think that shit. <clears throat> like, you need to stop worrying about this person. That's what I really feel like. Because, you know, for a lot of Capricorns I see over time, it's like they're, they're constantly saying, oh, someone from the past is coming back. And, and like, this is like... Okay, but even if they did, what's the point of, like, worrying about it? Like, stop worrying about whether or not someone's going to come back or not. Because there's really no victory to find in that. Like, you know, you keep waiting for it. Like, what are you going to do if it comes? This is actually the first one I've seen that's not, that's actually saying that. It's like, I don't know, I, I just don't like this because it's like, <clears throat> like, I mean, it could be people trying to come back from back in the day. But I feel like not. It, it's better not to wonder about which ones will or not, or if anyone even will, because it's like you wouldn't get anything from it anyway. It just be even if they did come back to you, you'd probably throw them out of your house, just like you did the last time. Like the audacity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone just turned her back completely and walked away from the situation with the Eight of Cups. Um, and this person, I, I like, I feel like part of the reason why they're hesitating, which is like, send it a message or something like that. Yeah, it's like, okay, Capricorn, it feels like it's one of those things where you want to reach out to the past because you're wondering what this person's up to. But it's like, they're not going to know how to take whatever you're sending them if you do this. Like, it's dark, it's cloudy, there's a bird, they're hungry, you know, starving, they're up in the fucking mountains, like, all they see is a bird with what looks like it could possibly be a fish in the dark, but it's really a wreath of victory, and that's probably where the lack of victory comes from. They'll probably take it offensively, they'll probably be on the defensive, they'll probably just go and kill the bird and eat it, and use the wreath like lettuce for a salad. So, I, I understand why you're definitely resisting this little temptation right here. I think you're already aware of not going out and looking, though. Because it's like you're already hesitating, so you know that there's a reason why you're hesitating, right? And I think you understand that, like, it's better just to get away from the situation than to try to, like, connect again, because this person wouldn't be able to deal with it anyway. Um, yeah, definitely not taking the leap of faith, nor offering your cup up. Like, no. Like, you're just like, oh, it's so sunny, but I want to sleep in, rather. Like, I don't need to do anything today, like, show emotion, or socialize, or just people in general. Here's the Empress's card. Daytime reverse, though. It's like, you know... It's like you don't know how to approach. You, you like you're, you're walking up to this person, and it's like 
You don't know what kind of mood they're in. You don't even know if, like, they are... Even in the mood to deal with you, because, like, they can't see that the eagle's carrying a wreath and not a giant fish that they can eat and steal from it. Yeah, they're taking it as, like, an opportunistic moment of sorts with this lack of clarity of not understanding it. So it's kind of like they keep their back turned in order to have the advantage in this. I want to see what you're doing, because I don't, I really don't trust this whole investment thing right here. I really don't, but it's whatever. But that's your reading caps. Thank you for watching my video, and if you want a personal reading, my email's down below. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips in the PayPal, which is also below. Um, like, share, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. Love your face. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.